Okay. Hi. So, I just wanted to talk about something a little bit more personal today, and that would be my coming out story so far. So, I first started coming out to myself, probably when I was about 12 years old. Um, it was a little bit of a difficult time for me, just because at the same time as I was having these feelings and these different feelings that were new to me and I was just getting confused, I was also going through a difficult time with my parents because my parents were in the middle of getting a divorce. So it was just it was just really difficult for me at the time, but I got through it and I got through it thanks to my friends and my family and they're all amazing. So they honestly, they were such a great support just for everything. After I had kind of done this initial realization of what, uh, of these different feelings, I didn't really think about them much until kind of the beginning of high school. I think the reason for that is just that high school to me was just a time, it was kind of new beginnings. It was kind of just a time where, you know, you kind of get introduced to all these different things. I mean, honestly, drugs, alcohol, um, you know, different people, different personalities, different social groups, you know, new school, you know, whatever, just everything. You get introduced to all these different things. And I think because of that, I, I started to revisit these feelings. So my grade nine year was a little bit difficult when it came to, you know, just dealing with new feelings and stuff. But I, I actually began to come out to some friends in grade, grade 10, so my sophomore year. So in October of 2009, so last year, um, I was talking, I was texting one of my friends. And, you know, we, we were actually, we were just playing 20 questions. And she said, she asked me, you know, are you gay? And I kind of avoid, I did, I completely avoided the question. And I was, I said something stupid, like, are, are you, I don't know. I don't even know what I said. It was just something completely stupid. But, um, she, so she texted me back and she's like, you avoided the question. And then I didn't answer. And then she just sent me like, you know, if you are, it's honestly not that big of a deal. I'll support you. I'm fine with it. So I said, so I thought in my mind, you know what? All right, I guess I'll tell her. I'm not, I'm not proud that I told her over text message. And if I could give any advice, I would, I would choose to tell people that don't do it over text message. I honestly think it was a stupid decision on my part. And, you know, just, just don't do it. Like, so ultimately I did tell her and she was completely fine with it. And she, she became a close support to me and she actually helped me come out to a few more friends over the next few months. And they were all supportive. They were all like, Oh yeah, you know, whatever. I'm okay with it. So, you know, it was good. And I mean, I've even had a lot of friends tell me, you know, I, I suspected it. I was just waiting for you to tell me. I've had a lot of that. One thing that I do regret that I mentioned earlier is that I, I told a lot of people over text message and honestly I told all of my friends over text message all of them and I really I really really regret that because I think I would have rather told them to their face because I think they deserved it you know but like I do regret it and that is like I said before I strongly recommend that you don't do it over text message or email or letter or whatever I strongly recommend that you should do it to their face and if I could relive everything I would do it to their face so that's my friends they're all supportive you know good good with it they're okay they don't care everybody acts as they used to before they even knew so now comes family so I actually haven't come out to my entire family I have, however, come out to my aunt. So basically what happened was um, it was last summer, so only about six months ago. Um, I sent her an email. Now bear with me. I didn't tell her over email. Um, I did say to her on email, though, can we, you know, sit down and talk? I want to talk to you about something. It's not a big deal. It's just something about myself that I haven't talked to you before. So she said, oh, yeah, you know, sure. When do you want to meet? Where do you want to meet? You know, whatever it's it's good so we ended up meeting at starbucks near my house and you know we sat down she said oh do you want to go get something so i went off and got something and then i came back and um and she said to me so what did you want to talk about and i kind of sat there and i was like well <laughs> i can't really say it it's more difficult than i thought to say so she started guessing and she said well you know do you want to drop out of school? And I said, no, definitely not. And um, I said to her, you know, it's it's nothing bad. Like I told you in my email, and I said to her in my email, you know, 
it's, it's not a pregnancy or something. And it's, you know, nothing bad like that. And she said, okay. She said, so did you want to, you know, like, it does have to do something with your parents? And I said, no, nothing to do with my parents. And she said, okay, is it something about your friends, something bad about your friends? And I said, no, it's nothing about my friends. And then she finally guessed, you know, is it a girlfriend? And I said, no. <laughs> and she's like, what about a boyfriend? And I said, well, <laughs> little bit <laughs> and um and she said okay okay and she just kind of sat there pondering it for a second I was just like hmm. awkward but um so she eventually just said to me you know I support you I love you I will always be there for you and and I had asked her not to tell the rest of my family and she said yeah of course by all means I understand that it's difficult for you so I will not tell the rest of the family and I promise you that so, and to this day, she's kept her word. She's never, she's never told my family and it's been six months. And I do think, however, that I need to, I need to personally get around to that soon. I just haven't found a good opportunity to do it. Um, you know, my mom, my mom kind of asks me sometimes, you know, she kind of makes little comments that, you know, I think she knows she just doesn't want to say it. I think she wants me to tell her. Um, my dad, on the other hand, I don't know. I think they'll all be fine with it, to be honest. I just haven't said anything. I just, like I said, I haven't gotten around to it, but I will eventually. So basically, that's my story. I mean, there's really nothing else to it. I, I honestly had a really positive experience, and I hope that most people did out there, too, or have had a positive experience, and I know that a lot of people don't. And I hate that fact, but it's, it's just, I guess, based on circumstances. So... There isn't much else to say, so thanks for watching.